Here's how you can save money by not installing costly water pump and pressure systems in your homes. Instead, install demand booster pump like this. Join me until the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Kung ang bahay nyo ay ground floor level lang o walang second floor, then probably there are only three areas that need high pressure water. It's in sink, shower, and garden or garage. Kung wala kayong second floor, di nyo kailangan ng malaking pump. Ang isang set ng water pump and pressure system ay aabot ng 36,000 pesos. Kasali na dyan ang pump, pressure tank, and water storage tank. Di kasama sa package ang mga fittings and pipes. If you choose this huge system to deliver water in your entire house, then you could also consume so much electricity. It is directly proportional. Kung malaki ang power ng pump, the more electricity it consumes. If your pump is 1 horsepower, then you are going to consume 746 watts an hour. Ang rate ng Meralco ay nag-average ng 10 pesos per kilowatt hour. On the other hand, installing booster pumps is not only economical but also comes handy. You are only going to boost water pump where it is needed. That's why these are called demand pumps. This water pump is designed for garage and garden use. It's only 80 watts and is powered by a 12 volt power adapter. Meron itong filter para sa water source since it is designed to take out water from a container. Meron din itong kasamang garden hose and a nozzle for gardening or car washing. Under my kitchen sink ay meron din ganito na booster pump. Meron akong video nito dati na nagpakita na walang tubig na dumadaloy dito sa faucet ng sink but doon sa loob ng bathroom, yung faucet doon sa baba merong dumadaloy na tubig. The reason for that is, yung tubig hindi makaakyat dito sa sink kasi mahina ang pressure. So hanggang doon lang siya sa mababang faucet. But when you use the booster pump, lalakas ang tubig. Sa ngayon, ito ang uh, daloy ng tubig, medyo mahina siya. But when I turn on the booster pump under the sink, you see, kita nyo, malakas na siya. This pump is a 100 watt and it cost me about 1,300 pesos. Unlike the first pump, low noise ang pump na ito. You can set this at manual or automatic shut off kung papatayin mo ang faucet. But in my setup, I use an air switch kasi di gumagana yung auto shut off ng pump for some reasons. Mas malakas din ang flow rate nito at 10 liters per minute. My third booster pump ay ang pinakamalakas sa tatlo and also pinakamahal sa lahat. Ganun din, the price of the water pump is directly proportional to its rated power. This is 150 watts and it costs around 2,000 pesos. This is designed for shower kaya this is IP56 waterproof. Ibig sabihin, it is protected from high pressure water jets from any direction. I installed this in my shower. So this is now my setup. Kung nakikita nyo, nadagdag na dito yung uh, pump niya, yung white na pump. Then uh, sa itaas nakikita nyo yung uh, malaking black. It's the power adapter ng pump yan. It's a 3 ampere power adapter. So which malaki siya. Then naka-attach siya doon sa junction box. Bumili ako ng uh, itong blue na flexible hose mura lang actually <laughs> okay then uh, but uh, it's appropriate because uh, meron siyang uh, ano uh, certain level of temperature na pwede niyang makaya niya i think it's 80 degrees centigrade ang makaya niya na i-handle na init so it's appropriate for uh, hot water so ang connection niya is galing from the you know water heater Kung nakikita nyo, nakakabit yung uh, flexible hose dyan sa diverter ko, di ba? So yung diverter ko, instead na directly connected yung isa, papuntang uh, overhead shower, ang nangyari, ang overhead shower, ang uh, hose niya doon nakakabit sa output ng uh, pump. Yung nasa itaas, yan ang output ng water pump. Nakakonect dyan ang um, overhead uh, shower. Okay? Or shower head. Then, uh, yung rain shower natin bali. Then, ang input ng uh, 
pump ay doon nakakabit sa may diverter natin na nasa water heater. So, yan ang uh, configuration ng uh, setup natin. Papakita ko sa inyo kung ano ang diferensya pag ginamita na ng uh, water pump or booster pump. Okay? So, i-on natin yung valve dito sa baba. Okay, yan ang daloy ng tubig mula sa ating uh, overhead shower. Pasensya na sa background because uh, itong uh, bathroom ko is for expansion. Uh, hindi pa tapos yung uh, renovation ng bahay ko. Okay. Then, uh, tingnan natin ang water heater. I-on natin. So, makikita nyo dyan, nasa 10 lang yung ano niya. Yung... Uh, output uh, level ng uh, tubig uh, supposedly kailangan niya dose para mag turn on yung uh, water heater so now off a water heater wala kayo nakikita na red dyan supposedly ang indicator dito ito siya mag red dyan at saka itong bar sa baba mag magkatakbo dyan ang red indicating na the water heater is uh, heating okay now i-turn on natin ang pump Actually, ang pump ay dalawang mode siya. Pakikita niyo yan, manual and automatic. Kung i-manual mo, kahit i-manual yan, after few seconds, mag-automatic mag lang yung change siya to automatic para for safety reason ng uh, uh, yung kanyang operation. Okay? So, i-turn on natin at tingin natin ang diferensya. Yan. Kaka-power on siya. Biglang bumuhos ng tubig. <laughs> Then, makikita mo dito, nag-up na ang uh, output ng tubig from kanina 10 to 37. Ang input ng tubig is nasa 29. Then, nag-on na yung red niya, indicating na nag-power uh, on na yung heater. At saka, yung uh, red light bars mo ba, nag-tumatakbo uh, na yung lights niya. Ito na, ang tubig. <laughs> Medyo malakas na siya. Marunig niyo naman siguro. So, anytime I can have a uh, hot water in my shower, like before na tatayning ako na malakas yung water pressure bago ko maligo. <laughs> okay. So, see, nakita nyo, nag-transfer siya mula uh, manual kanina, naging automatic siya ngayon. I'll turn off this the switch, tingnan din kung mayayari. Okay, ganoon din siya. Off siya. Then, hindi na rin nag-heat nag, nag, ano, nag, uh, yung shower kasi nasa 10 ulit yung uh, level niya. Turn natin ulit. Tingnan nyo, naka-red yan, manual. In a few seconds, mag-transfer uh, yan to automatic. Yan, nag-automatic na siya. Then, if I shut the bulb, the bulb, yung, uh, I mean the water bulb, so baba. Then, the motors automatically stops. Okay, so, so may auto shut off siya. Kung wala tubig na dadaloy, yung pump ay mag off din after a few seconds. Okay, while well, our water heater, I don't know, it's palagi, but as also it automatically stops heating. Kung walang tubig na dadaloy, nakikita niya, 1-0-0 zero zero yung uh, output level. So, mag-automatic stop din ang ating water heater. So, ganun sa ka-efficient. Sa pressure pump system, ang pump ay aandar tuwing bumaba na yung air pressure sa preset level niya. The air pressure will go down as soon as you withdraw water from your storage tank. So, from time to time, aandar yung water pump. Sometimes, there are losses of air in the water pressure tank and that triggers your pump most often. It means more power consumption. Here's the sample computation of power consumption among the three demand pumps and the air pressure water pump. The current rate as of this video of Meralco, the country's largest power distributor, is at around 10 pesos and 6 centavos per kilowatt hour. 
For 80 watt garden pump, let's just say you are watering your garden a total of 15 minutes per day, then the cost should only be at around 20 centavos. For the 100 watt multi-purpose pump that I use in my kitchen sink, let's just say I consume 5 minutes for every dishwashing and multiply it 3 times a day. Then it would cost me a little bit higher at 25 centavos a day. For shower pump, let's say it took me 20 minutes to use the shower, so my power cost is at 50 centavos. Just multiply this number for all members of your household. If you are using an air pressure water pump for the entire house, then add the time consumed for gardening, dishwashing, and bathing. So you have a total of 50 minutes, and that costs you 9 pesos. That is huge compared to the total cost of the 3-demand booster pumps, which is only at 95 centavos a day. If you multiply 9 pesos by 30 days, that's 270 pesos, just for one person taking a bath in the shower for a month. If you have questions, please comment below and please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Ako si Jun Dariman, dengan selamat, high tech tabay!